Hey guys, um, what we are going to do uh, or I want to display is uh, what is the future state um, we want to get to while building the automation framework and we wanted to use a concrete workflow. So um, if you are looking at this video at the top of this page um, you would already have read the overall workflow and uh, the future state where we want to get to. So um, let's go ahead and do the workflow manually first. So what I'm doing is uh, hit the automationpractice.com website. Okay. Um, okay. Seems like I've already signed in. Let me sign out. Um, okay. So uh, this is my home page. Now on the home page, what I'm going to do uh, is um, sign in, right? And then you would have the username password, right? Then log in with the um, username password and um, at the top menu you would go ahead and select some addresses and select the first address um, which appears in the catalog here say add to cart right and this on this pop-up proceed to checkout and you would end up on this shopping cart summary page where you would quickly check if the price is correct what you have seen on the previous page and you would go ahead and proceed to checkout once you complete that operation successfully you would be on the address page where you would quickly check if the address is correct and then um, let's say I would like to do a test purchase or something like that I'd like to type some text here and then I would say proceed to checkout right and once I proceed to checkout here I'd be on the shipping page and I would accept the shipping um, option whatever is provided by default I would have to agree and then I would go ahead and say proceed to checkout now I would land up on a payment page. On the payment page I will quickly verify you know that uh, what I am paying is what I agreed for and what I added to the cart and I have two options pay by bank wire and pay by check. Let's say for this workflow I would go ahead and say pay by check and so eventually I will land up on this order summary page I will check the payment and then I will say alright I confirm my order. So once I confirm my order here right I would see successful message which says your order on my store is complete and this is what I need to verify. So the whole workflow of hitting the automationpractice.com website, signing in and completing the steps required to purchase an item through the shopping cart, we will try to use this workflow and we will build the automation framework step by step. So how does, how does it look from um, you know the uh, cucumber uh, perspective? So this is, this, these are the scenarios I'd like to go through uh, step by step. First thing would be you know something like login and log out. I do a very simple scenario to get us started. I will log in with, so I say when I open automation practice website and I log in with username, right, my username and password, then I verify that I successfully logged in by clicking the log out button. Okay? Then I move on and specify, well, you know what, I don't want to spe uh, pass my username and credentials as strings, but I would like to pass it from a YAML file. Right? So this is where our data driven framework um, uh, capability would come into play and we would see how um, that capability would uh, uh, you know, add value here. So uh, you know, moving on, what we do after we log in, we log in and uh, I'd like to click on some addresses, uh, that is the top menu and once I click a some address, I add one product to the cart. Right? Um, and so I add to the cart and then I verify the summary, then I verify summary and verify address, right? Verify address and then verify shipping address. And then once I verify shipping address, I want to pay by check. Uh, once I pay by check, I confirm the order. And then eventually once I confirm the order, I verify that the success message is successfully displayed. So, so this last scenario kind of consolidates all of the uh, fundamental blocks of scenarios what we are building here step by step. So if I run this scenario eventually this completes the entire from start to finish. Start meaning logging into the um, uh, website and all the way uh, adding to the cart, checking out, address verification, payment and everything. So let's, let's go ahead and run this and see the future state and then we will go step by step. Okay. So if I go ahead and run this right now Right, as you can see, um, the website automationpractice.com uh, website uh, um, opens up and it should click on the sign button, right? Um, right, there you go. It has entered the credentials. It's signed in and it is uh, hovered and it's clicked the sum addresses. 
right proceeding to checkout now um, you can see that uh, it's racing through um, and then eventually you can see um, that you know the payment is being completed click confirm my order there you go um, let's see so you can see that the scenario passed right with all the 10 steps in it passed and it took about um, 43.917 43 seconds to complete this entire workflow um, isn't that amazing I mean what automation can do um, but anyways so this this workflow is what we would try to um, use as an example while we build the automation framework okay this will be our future state um, so thanks for watching this guys um, we will uh, catch up very soon